Right, so hello and welcome to another review video. I'm going to do this briefly because I struggle to find reviews of these online. Um, this is a universal GPS speedometer. It's quite basic, it's from eBay, cheap and cheerful. As I said, I struggle to find a review of these online. So in the box we get a USB lead, a mount, a rubber type mount, basic piece of paper of instructions and the actual unit oh and some sticky pads always come in handy let's get rid of the box right, let's have a little look at this shall we right. this is quite bear with me just drop my phone drop it again right so this is quite a basic device, it's quite lightweight, feels sturdy, I don't know if the camera's picking up, it's got a sort of carbon fibre type look to it. Buttons feel sturdy, sort of basic old school calculator type display, looks like it's got a speaker, GPS HUD speedometer, well this isn't um, a heads up display unit. This is just, it will show the speed along here. So let's unravel this lead quickly and let's turn it on and see if it works. I bought a power bank with me, so let's just plug in. Let's give it one amp to start with. We need needs a bit more power. We'll plug it into the two amp side and see. Right, let's plug it in. Now we are indoors, so it's probably not going to get signal. Powering up. So you see, we've got three dashing lights. So that cable feels quite nice and decent quality. While well, that attempts to get signal, let's have a little look at these mounts and see how they work. So we've got a sticky pad on the back here already. Yep, yeah, just peel it back, stick it on. This clips in just like that. Nice and steady, and yeah, some good adjustment on there as well. So let's just push in and slide off. And then if we wanted to mount this on, say, a bike handlebar, you would clip that on that side, I assume, come round, and with your handlebar, or your bar for a motorbike or anything, just fitting in there, and that will hold it nicely in place. So yeah, that's quite good. Right, we don't need that for our application for it. And we don't need the sticky pads, so we'll put those to the side. So, oh, it's turned off. Oh, my power bank has turned off. Okay, fine. It's obviously not detected enough to draw on the power bank, so. Let's give it a second and see. Hmm, may have been not a good power bank to test, so we may need to get out a USB plug that will give us a nice constant supply. Let's do that, shall we? Hold on, bear with me. The extension lead. Plug in, just so we get a nice constant supply because we don't want that turning off while we're trying to do it. And then look at the instructions. Set overspeed alarm, set it between kilometers or miles. Now we're in the UK, so we're gonna take miles. So that's fine, that'll be quite nice. So look, green color speed display, overspeed, total mileage display after car stops. Now I know that all arrays because it doesn't have any kind of small battery in it to store or memory on there. Uh, GPS positioning time, one to five minutes in the open air. The bad weather will affect the positioning time. There is no GPS signal indoors. Well, we're all fully aware that we don't get GPS indoors. So it takes 30 to 60 milliamps. So yep, that one amp supply is perfectly fine. Works with minus 30 to 70. Driving deviation is around 2%. So we've got a fatigue driving alarm on here. Every hour, it's gonna give a nice little beep. Just to remind you, you've been driving for an hour and display it. Uh, driving data, record the data, does include parking time, and yeah, it doesn't store it once it loses power. And you can adjust it if it's a bit out of sync, the speed on it as well, so you could either increase it or decrease if it's over or under reporting. So it's fine, I never expect the accurate results from a GPS thing when it comes to speed. So what we'll have to do, that's still trying to gather signal indoors. So what I'm gonna do for the next 
Oh. Okay. So the next part of this video will be this in a car and I fitted it and we can see the accuracy of it. So for the money, it feels very good quality. It's quite sturdy. I paid about eight pounds for this. So I'm more than happy with it as long as it gets a signal, which I'm gonna to need to take it outside to test that. So I'll wait and see, I'll be back once it's fitted. Um, for you that won't be be back you're just going to watch the next video well you're going to watch the next part of this video i should say straight away let's wait and see cool all right so apologies first of all for the quality of this video the sunlight was very bright and i couldn't get the camera in a decent position but at least you can see the speedometer now it is quite slow at registering a new speed it's probably about two to three seconds behind the actual speed that you're traveling i do attempt to show you my mobile phone to show that the speed is fairly accurate to be honest it's probably about half a mile an hour out i'd say but you can do manual adjustments on it now i adjusted that on mine and managed to get it quite accurate it does come from the factory in kilometers an hour so you have to adjust it to miles an hour but once again that little instruction sheet we saw earlier on did say how to do that um i guess it's down to a case of whether i'd recommend this speedometer if you're using it for something like i'm using it in a electric ride-on toy car then yes it's worthwhile if you wanted to put this in your car i really wouldn't see the point if your speedometer was broken in your car well that's going to fail its mot and this isn't going to replace it so it's not capable of passing things like an sva test so no overall it's a nice handy tool to have if you want it as a second speedometer in your car if it's nice and bright I'd recommend it. It's worth the money. Nice and cheap from eBay. Does the job sort of thing. How reliable it will be in the long term, I can't say. I've only had it in now for well, this video's come up just a week afterwards, so it's had a week of use and it's been okay so far, but over the last months or years, I don't know. Overall, I'm pleased with it and it's worth the purchase so. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button and keep an eye out for more videos coming soon. Thank you.